Yeah, well, I mean, there's some species that we don't really know the best way to take care of them in in captivity. So those tend to be, so they can even be shorter lives. So for instance, elephants are shorter lives in, in, in zoos than they are in the wild. And I think a lot of that's just because the, the needs of an animal as big as an elephant uh, are difficult to, to, to meet in, in the wild. Um, but typically, I think we, we tend to focus on predation because it's something we're all familiar with. But I think there's also, for animals that are long live, there's also occasional weather catastrophes. Um, for instance, the longest live wild bird, which is, a, which is an albatross named Wisdom, who's at least 72 years old now, um, the colony she lives in, which is out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, was devastated by a tidal wave that came from the the tsunami. There was the tsunami after the Fukushima uh, uh, earthquake, and that's the kind of thing killed over a hundred thousand of her species living in the same place. So she managed to escape that. But I think that kind of shows that even rare things 